guys Carol here bringing you another video today I'm bringing you this bottle of wine it's a small bottle of wine I've put some I bought a cork from eBay and I've made the tag so it looks like a really pretty little gift for somebody so I'm going to show you how I've made the tag I'll turn that off okay so all it is is a piece of vellum and I've cut it at six inches by two and a quarter and then I scored it at two inches so I'm going to do another one so I can show you so I've already cut it and then I'm going to score it at two inches okay now I want to cut a hole here that is one and three quarters but I can't really see the centre when I put the punch in so there's one oh I can't see that can I there's one inch can you see what I'm, I can't really see what I'm doing because it's and there's one inch so that's the centre Get my punch this is one of the old punches we used to have still working center it and punch okay and then i'm using discontinued corner rounder i'm hoping they'll bring another one out in the new catalog because i do like my little handheld one i'm afraid We've got one on the envelope punch board, but it's too big. Right, flower shop is what I've used, and I've chosen that one because I can colour it in more. So, first some mark ink, and what I did was I stamped. Hopefully, that hasn't overlapped. Bring in my white embossing powder. There you go. Get rid of it. It's quite a full one. It's brand new, so if I spill that, it'll be gone. Right, make sure. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to heat emboss that now so you can see the magic. purposely went out and bought this small bottle of wine and then drank it last night because <laughs> I had to um, for this project so I've I've stamped and embossed there so I'm going to ink on the other side I've chosen brushes um, and I'm going to use what's this one the light rich raspberry so and I really didn't take care I made kind of made sure I stayed within the lines but it doesn't matter if you go over the white embossed on the inside and when I did this one this may be difficult for you to see the uh, vellum what I can see but I thought vellum would be I didn't want the lights covered up but I did want to put a tag on it and I bought three so I've got to go and buy two more bottles of wine I have such a hard life 
Mm. No, that's not right. I don't want the thin end. I want the thicker end. I was right the first time. So I'm excited. Next week's half term. I've got half term off. Um, and I'm preparing for a craft retreat I've, I've, uh, I've organised this year. I really organised it last year, but it's happening next weekend. There will be YouTube videos about it. I can't wait. I've got a little bit more to do, but not a lot. So, and then I've got a class as well Wednesday night. So this one is the dark cherry cobbler and the light cherry cobbler. Um, so I run classes um, three times a month. Once in rugby and twice in the Neaton. So. And I started a blog last week, which is a bit... I've been trying to get my head around a blog for, I'd say, a good year. It's taken me that long. I'm not very confident when it comes to it. So, I did two posts last week, which were amazing. And when I did them, I was like, oh, I can do it. So it's like everything else, you've got to try, haven't you? If you don't try, it's always going to be not achievable. If you do try, you might achieve it, you never know. So, there you go. There is another tag from a lovely bottle of wine. And look how pretty that looks. I hope you can see just a little bottle of wine with the lights in. Just get them off eBay. Um, and that looks so pretty. I think that'll be really nice. The light shining through. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. Um, and let me know if... I mean, you could do it with big bottles of wine. But I thought, because there's not many lights in there, it just looks pretty in there. So I thought that looked really pretty. So you'll have to see if you can get them for the bigger bottles of wine. I'm not sure. Anyway, take care. I hope you've enjoyed that. Bye.